Hello students, welcome back to our class. So, in this module we are going to discuss about similarity criterion. What do you mean by similarity criterion? See, we come across so many things uh, in our day to day life. If you see the Taj Mahal, Taj Mahal is in Agra, but we can see so many Taj Mahals in different different shops. We should not call them as Taj Mahals, that is just a Taj Mahal model, right? So, why are you calling it as a Taj Mahal? Not by someone named it as a Taj Mahal, because just by the shape of that object as like Taj Mahal, but we cannot say that this Taj Mahal and that Taj Mahal is same. So, what does this mean? It is just similar to that original object. So, that is why you can call it as Taj Mahal or Taj Mahal uh, model something like that and you can come across so many things like that and if you see uh, two persons. So, then they, those two persons look same almost, look same in the sense what they appear same, you understand they appear same, appear same in the sense they are they may be same in shape may or may not be in size that does not matter. So, likewise in our mathematics also what do you mean by similar figures? We know about congruency, congruence of triangles, congruence of other plane figures also. But what do you mean by congruent of triangles and what do you mean by similar of triangles, similarity of triangles? See congruency of triangles in the sense, for example, there two triangles are given, this is one triangle and this is one more triangle, these two triangles are given. For example, this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side, of course, the angle between them both are equal. Then those two triangles are said to be congruent by SAS congruence. Congruence in the sense what they are same in shape they as well as same in size also. See here we cannot say what is the shape of the triangle, shape of the triangle is triangular shape that is it nothing more than that. But you cannot specify the shape, you can even tell about the different types of triangles like triangles based on the sides as well as triangles based on the angles, but you cannot exactly say what is the shape of the triangle. So, that is why we cannot say they are similar by the shape because there is no specific shape you understand shape of the triangle is triangular shape other than that we do not know anything about that. So, then in which conditions we can say that two triangles are similar and then after discussing about similarity of triangles when we can say that two polygons are similar what do what I mean about polygons polygons are nothing but we will anyway discuss about the similarity of triangles. After triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, hexagon, septagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, whatever the polygon that you consider, when and how we can say that they are similar. For that, the very basic thing that we need to discuss here is similarity of triangles. Did you understand my point? Similarity of triangles. Now, I am going to explain you when two triangles are said to be similar. There are three conditions for two triangles to be similar, those three conditions are those three conditions are A A A similarity, what do you call that? A A A similarity and second one S S S similarity and third one S A S similarity. What is this A A A S S S S A similarity? Let us try to understand them. See, for example, uh, I am going to consider the very first similarity of this triangle. These are called similarity criteria. Similarity criterion. There are totally three similarity criterions A A A S S S S A S. What are those three similarity criterion? If I come to this A A A similarity, I would consider two triangles. Okay, two triangles. Let us consider this is one triangle. Let us name this triangle A, B, C and the second triangle this is one more triangle. Let us consider this triangle is some P, Q, R. According to this A, A, A similarity in my two triangles A, B, C and P, Q, R angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q then automatically angle C is equal to angle R. If two angles are equal to two angles of another triangle automatically third angle equal to third angle right that is common sense. So, these two triangles are said to be similar then their corresponding sides are proportional. Corresponding sides means what 
first side by first side equal to second side by second side equal to third side by third side that is what is meant by a a a similarity i repeat according to this a a similarity if you consider two triangles like abc and pqr if the corresponding angles are equal then they are said to be similar then their corresponding sides are proportional so if the corresponding angles are equal then their corresponding sides are proportional that is what called a a a similarity understand coming to ss s similarity so according to this ss s similarity this is just a converse to this a a similarity it means when the three sides of one triangle are respectively proportional to the corresponding three sides of the another triangle then they are similar it means their corresponding angles are equal so the converse of a a a is s s s and s s s is a a in fact and what is this s a s this is one of the application otherwise you would call it as this is uh, you know which is the con which is uh, the condition derived defined by a a a and s s s also right first let us try to understand when three angles of one triangle are respectively equal to three angles of the another triangle how can you prove that their corresponding sides are proportional that is what you call it as a a a similarity hope you understand what is a a similarity yes i am going to write the statement of this a a similarity that is similarity criterion the first similarity criterion is a a a similarity a a a similarity so according to this condition if all the three angles all the three angles of one triangle all the three angles of one triangle are respectively equal to the three angles of another triangle then their corresponding sides are proportional then their corresponding sides are proportional correct so how can you say that their corresponding sides are proportional this is what is our task okay for that let me take two triangles the first triangle is triangle a b c and the second triangle that i am drawing little bit bigger triangle just to show they are not same in size a a b c o right so i am going to take p q r triangle let it be triangle p q r okay this is triangle p q r what is the information given here given that three angles of first triangle are respectively equal to three angles of the another triangle it means angle a is equal to angle p angle b is equal to angle q and angle c is equal to angle r that is what the information given i will write here in triangle abc and the triangle pqr angle a equal to angle p so angle a is equal to angle p and angle b is equal to angle q as well as angle c is equal to angle r this is what the information given so what is rtp now we are going to prove that their corresponding sides are proportional corresponding side means first side by first side equal to second side by second side equal to third side by third side it means ab by pq is equal to bc by qr is equal to ac by pr this is what we are going to prove so in order to prove this so definitely you will have to think a lot 
because you have nothing given in two triangles you are given only these angles are equal to these angles we do not know what kind of triangles they are they are purely scaling triangles right so then definitely you will have to think that since these two triangles are different triangles and these two angles are equal and these two angles are equal then you can draw triangles such that these two angles are equal and these two angles are equal of course the other the other uh, pair of angles also equal with different sides with different sides means what ab is different from pq the lengths of the sides must be different and bc is different from qr and ac different from pr like that we can draw them okay suppose according to my calculation pq and ab both are not same in the size for example if both are not same in the size size is nothing but length of the side then definitely one side must be bigger than the other side without loss of generality i am taking pq is more than ab the side length pq is more than ab then what for example pq is equal to some 7 cm then ab must be less than 7 cm whatever it is so that point i will have to utilize here and i am taking one point on pq that point is going to be b dash such that ab is equal to pb dash did you understand how i am taking b, b dash point on pq right similarly i am taking one more point on pr that point is going to be some c dash such that ac is equal to pc dash and after that i am going to join b and c this is what my construction is did you understand what is the construction let us consider a point b dash and c dash on pq and pr respectively such that pb dash is equal to ab and pc dash is equal to ac so what do we do with that construction let us have a look on this i am going to do it directly by proof i am not writing here what is the construction but you will have to write the construction steps fine so coming to this proof once you observe triangle a b c and p b dash c dash what can you infer about those two small triangles see here p a a b is equal to p b dash that is by the construction angle a is equal to angle p that was already given and a c is equal to p c dash that is the construction only so by s a s congruence triangle b a c is congruent to b dash p q otherwise a b c congruent to p b dash c dash right okay observe that observe that triangle a b c is congruent to triangle p b dash c dash by yes a s congruence so since these two triangles are congruent by cp ct what can you infer about this by cp ct right what are the other things angle a b c is equal to angle p b dash c dash can we say that right angle a b c is equal to angle p b dash c dash and what is the other one other thing is this what is this angle a c b and angle a c b is equal to angle p c dash b dash angle p c dash b dash of course one more thing that we can say that b c is equal to b dash c dash also and uh, b c is equal to b dash c dash once you observe here we proved that angle b is equal to angle b dash means these two are equal angle c is equal to angle c is equal to angle c dash but already you know that angle c is equal to angle r right but now we proved that angle c is equal to angle c dash it means angle c dash is equal to angle r angle b dash is equal to angle q once you observe if these two angles are equal for this line according to this line what do you call these two lines can't you call them as parallel lines because if these two angles are equal they are said to be a pair of corresponding angles these two are pair of corresponding angles for these two parallel lines only when this is a transversal so therefore angle b dash c dash is equal to angle q that is why 
B dash C dash is parallel to Q R, right? So therefore, B dash C dash is parallel to Q R. If B dash C dash is parallel to Q R, what can you say about this? Can we apply basic proportionality theorem, right? So by drawing a line parallel to one side of a triangle, then it divides the other two sides in the same ratio. Just before this class, we apply we discussed about some applications of basic proportionality theorem also. What are they? P B dash by B dash Q is equal to P C dash by C dash R. That is basic proportionality theorem. By adding one on both the sides, we proved that P B dash by P Q is equal to P C dash by P R. Have you remembered that? Yes, I am going to use that. So by basic proportionality theorem, we can say that P B dash P B dash by P Q is equal to P C dash by P R, correct? But what is P B dash? According to the construction, P B dash is exactly equal to A B, right? When you can you substitute A B in the place of P B dash? That implies P B dash is A B divided by P Q is equal to P C dash is A C divided by P R, right? So A B by P Q is equal to A C by P R, and similarly you can prove that that A B by P Q is equal to A C by P R. Um, what is that? B C by Q R also. Instead of this construction, if you take this construction like this, otherwise if you take the construction like this, then you can easily prove that A B by P Q is equal to B C by Q R also. So this way we can say that if all the three angles of one triangle are respectively equal to the corresponding three angles of the second triangle, then those two triangles are said to be similar. Then their corresponding sides are proportional. So hope you understand. This is first similarity criterion. Thank you.